Hey, this is Joe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the intake ports and valves in a GDI engine. GDI stands for Gasoline Direct Injection. The All of the ND Miatas have a GDI, and what that is, is fuel is injected directly into the cylinders bypassing the intake manifold or intake ports. Uh, as a result, fuel does not wash down on the valves and intake ports and therefore carbon builds up uh, in the intake manifold and on the backs of the valves. And you want to do this cleaning regularly. Normally I do it uh, every time I do an oil change. Uh, on my uh, VW GTI I, I purchased it used with about a hundred thousand miles on it and I had to do walnut shell blasting to remove that and if you go watch that video you'll see the results of all of the carbon that builds up uh, on the backs of the valves and on the intake runners in the intake uh, manifold so if you take preventative uh, measures and do that on a regular basis you won't get that carbon buildup and it, it carbon buildup will cause the engine to run poorly so what I have is I've picked up some CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner and there's some uh, instructions on the back that you have to follow rather uh, exactly in order to do a proper job so if you rem if you watched my video where I removed the noise delete tube I put a little rubber cap right here downstream of the mass airflow sensor and uh, you always want to inject the cleaner past this because this cleaner uh, could damage the mass airflow sensor they make a separate cleaning product to clean your uh, throttle body and your mass airflow sensor so you want to make sure you don't get any of this uh, cleaner it's rather harsh uh, on that uh, mass airflow sensor so the instructions indicate that you have to start up the engine you have you have to warm up the car properly then what we'll do is you remove the cap and what I did was I again when I purchased these caps for my noise tube delete you take off the sealed caps you poke a hole in the end of one of these caps and then you can insert the nozzle of this cleaner into that cap and then put that cap on and then you have to increase your engine rpm to 2000 rpm no higher than 3500 rpm and then using one second bursts you want to inject the cleaner into the throttle body you don't want to go too much because uh, it could stall the engine and also because you're injecting it through the throttle body into the intake manifold you don't want any of this cleaner to get down inside your oil so uh, as a precaution I always do this cleaning right before an oil change that way if accidentally any of this cleaner gets down into your oil it will dilute your oil and could cause damage to your engine so what I'm going to do now is warm up the engine we're going to come back, pull the uh, rubber cap off, put the rubber cap on with the hole in it, uh, increase the engine RPM to 2000 RPM, and uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do some cleaning. After we do the cleaning, I'll explain uh, some of the rest of the instructions that you're supposed to do to get a proper uh, GDI cleaning. We have the engine warmed up to temperature now. Let's go ahead and pull the rubber cap off of the, uh, right near the throttle body. Okay, we got a screwdriver. Let's go ahead and take that rubber cap off. Okay, it says that you can invert the can if you don't have the room. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to start up the engine and put a piece of wood on the throttle. You want to keep the throttle right at around 2000 RPM. And then you want to do one second bursts into the throttle body until the can is completely empty. So you're probably not going to be able to hear me when I start the engine, but I just wanted to let you know the procedure that we're going to follow. Okay, we're going to start injecting now.
I'm going to go ahead and inject the rest of that cam off camera. And you don't need to watch all of that. you get the idea. We'll come back after we're done emptying the can. After the can is empty, uh, the instructions call that you're supposed to rev the engine several times to 3500 RPM, which we've done. And now what you want to do is let the engine heat soak for an hour. After the engine heat soaks for an hour, then they say you want to go out and drive the car for 10 minutes at highway speeds. So let's go ahead and let this sit for an hour and then we'll come back and take the car for a drive. We'll come back and then wrap everything up. In the meantime, I've pulled off the cap with the holes in it and we're going to go ahead and reinstall the caps without the holes and put the clamp back on. We're now ready to let it heat soak for an hour and then we'll take it out for a drive. While the engine was heat soaking, I went and changed the oil in the filter. And after that was done, then we took it out uh, for some highway driving as indicated in the instructions. So we've come back, uh, everything is fine. So hope you enjoyed this video on cleaning uh, an engine that has uh, GDI gasoline direct injection. And we'll see you next time.